Hello and welcome. My name is Jesper and I'm a student of medicine and I'm currently doing my last year before graduating as a medical doctor. In this video, I'm going to go through the normal rate of growth as well as the physical development in newborn children and for their first years after birth. I will also be going through some parameters of growth such as dentition, the head circumference and the two fontanelles that babies are usually born with. The numbers for weight and centimeter might vary a bit depending on the source you use. However, roughly speaking, this video is going to give you a good idea of what's considered normal. I'm using here the numbers that I was taught in my medical school for my pediatrics exam. Bear in mind, however, that there are great growth curve charts from CDC as well as the World Health Organization and those you can easily use. I recommend that you would take a look at them and I've posted a link in the video description for the CDC growth chart. So let's start with the height and growth rate. The length at birth when a baby is newly born is around half a meter. To be exact, it's 49 to 52 centimeter, which is considered the normal range. The first, during the first year of the baby's life, the baby grows around 24 to 25 centimeter. And during the second year of life, the baby grows around 12 centimeter. And to remember these numbers of the first years, I try to think of the sentence cut in half. So at birth, the baby is around half a meter. So we have to remember 50 centimeter. Half of that is 25 centimeter, which is the normal growth during the first year after birth. And then half of 25 is 12.5, which is the amount of centimeter which is normal during the second year after birth. Now for the third year, unfortunately, we have to memorize the number, which is seven to eight centimeter. In the following years, the growth stagnates a little bit and it's around four to six centimeter and then during puberty there is a growth spurt again where for girls they during puberty they can grow up to eight centimeters a year usually or even more and boys around 10 centimeter a year we follow growth curve charts as recommended by the cdc next i want to talk about target height which is a calculation that physicians do to roughly calculate the predicted adult height of a child when it's fully grown. It takes into account the height of the mother as well as the father and varies a bit for boys and girls. So if we want to calculate the target height for a boy, we will take the father's height plus the mother's height plus 13 divided by 2. Then we get the answer and the answer plus minus 10 centimeter will be our range of what's to be expected. So you'll end up with a very rough estimation. However, mostly it can be quite accurate. For girls, it's a little bit different. We take the father's height and then we minus 13 plus the mother's height. Then we divide it by two and then the plus minus is 8.5 instead of 10, so the range is a little bit smaller. So let's continue with the weight. And weight is dependent on endogenous and exogenous factors, but more of the exogenous factors, such as feeding here, plays an important role. When a baby is born, the normal weight ranges from around 2,500 grams to 4,000 grams, or 2.5 to 4 kilos. To simplify it. Babies born to mothers with diabetes are often larger, a term we refer to as being born with macrosomia. This is when the baby is born with over four kilos. The average breastfed baby will actually double its weight by around five months to half a year. At around the one year mark, babies often triple their birth weight. Weight gain during the second year is around two to three kilo for that whole second year in total. Then the following years, the child gains around one to two kilogram. 
The head circumference is a measurement which we use a tape meter and we place it so that it passes from the frontal eminences of the frontal bone of the baby and the, around the protuberantia occipitalis posteriorly. We essentially measure the head size. Just after birth, the normal head circumference is 34 to 35 centimeters. And the first year, it grows around 10 to 12 centimeters, so around 1 centimeter a month. The second year, much less so, normally 2 to 3 centimeters, and then it slowly increases in size until around puberty. Now, next up, I want to talk about dentition, or the teeth, which is very, very individual. So there are big variations from child to child. Most often, the first teeth to appear are the front incisor teeth, and usually they appear at about 6 to 9 months of age. These are the deciduous teeth, also known as the milk teeth, and they are 20 in number, and usually they will all be erupted by the end of the second year of the child. The permanent or adult teeth begin to erupt at around age 5 to 6 years, and usually the molars are the first adult teeth to appear. At the same time as the new teeth appear, the milk teeth will fall out in the same order. Permanent teeth are usually fully developed by the age of 12, except for the last molars, or aka the wisdom teeth. Those can come in much later. The, the permanent dentition has a total of 32 teeth, so it's 12 more than in the young children who has the deciduous or milk teeth. Lastly, um, I'm going to speak about fontanelles, and a fontanelle is an opening in the skull of a newborn. These are areas essentially where the bones have not fully fused together yet. Normally, a full-term baby is born with a large anterior, so on the front side, fontanelle, and this is up to around 2.5 centimeter in size. The anterior large fontanelle usually fuses at around the age of 12 to 18 months of age. The posterior fontanelle is a smaller fontanelle, which may be open at birth, but also might be closed, and it normally will fuse within the two first months after birth. In premature babies, the fontanelles might be wider and larger due to less time in the womb for development and fusing of the bones. That was all for this video. I hope you found it helpful and thank you for watching.